Oh man, it just cannot be the WC about to talk about the BET Awards 2014. Yes, it is. It's the WC. It was a review of the 2014 BET Awards, man. I'm going to be talking about the performances I liked. The performances I did not like. The people I do not like. The things that I did not like. The Lifetime Achievement Award, which went to Lionel Richie. Well deserved. Like to party. Fiesta together forever. <laughs> you knew I was going to sing, didn't you? You knew I was going to sing. And I'm also going to be talking about other things. But let me first off talk about Chris Rock. Now, when I heard about Chris Rock being the host of this show, all right, it's like, uh, you know, okay, I really didn't know what to expect from him, but he delivered in this show, man. The guy was funny, he cracked on people, the skits were funny. You know, everything was funny about Chris Rock. He should come back next year and do it. I, I'm wondering why he waited so long to do it. Somebody said that Chappelle was going to do it. I was like, man, stop lying. Please stop lying to me. But Chris Rock was a great host tonight. The flow, you know, the flow of the show kind of, you know, basically was was set with him. And I like that. You know what I'm saying? I just really like that. He gets an A plus from the hosting job, for, for real, from my perspective. All right. I don't think that anybody could have did it any better. But um, going on to performances, Pharrell with his happy song. You know, I'm getting tired of Pharrell in his hat. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm getting tired of Pharrell in his uh, 18th century hat. All right, this stuff got to go. All right, I don't know. Look, I'm getting tired of it. Matter of fact, nah, I'm lying. I need to go get me one of those, man. All the chicks be getting naked when you come out with one of those Pharrell hats, man. But anyway, man. As far as performances go, man, overall for the entire night, I mean, I mean, geez, man, I mean, John Legend did his thing, you know what I'm saying, um, Nicki Minaj did her, you know, her little thing, and I'll be talking about Nicki Minaj a little bit later on in this video, as far as the status or the state of hip-hop, y'all stick around here for that, you know what I'm saying, y'all want controversy, y'all get controversy in this video, so, you know, so far through the show, man, I'm really, really liking it. Um, there's a couple things I don't like. The, the whole red carpet thing, man, with the performances on the red carpet. I'm just one of the people like, I'll pass. All right? I, I, I just I don't watch the pre-shows. You know, I don't do none of that stuff, man. You know, the, the cuts into the audience was starting to get repetitive. They do that a lot during these shows. They cut to the audience, you know, the different people. And the different people be looking kind of strange and weird. And then your eyeball be catching them. And then your eyeball be jumping off the screen. And, you know what I'm saying? Like... There's just a couple people like that, man. But just getting back into the whole meat of this video. Getting back into it. I liked the tribute to Lionel Richie. That's probably the performance of the night. You know what I'm saying? Out of all the performances that came out there. He sung the man song. Then he came up there. He did his thing. I think that that's customary at, um, at the BET Awards. That um, they have uh, the guy that's receiving it. Or the woman that's receiving it. Come up there and finish it off. I don't know if they did it for Patty LaBelle. I don't know if Patty LaBelle came up there and sung when she got her Lifetime Achievement Award. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was a real nice touch to the end of it. Greatest performance of, uh, uh, greatest performance of the night. Yeah, there was a couple things I liked doing it. Was, um, you know, everybody performed pretty darn well, man. You know, T.I. came out there, did his thing, Lil Wayne, uh, Chris Brown. Even though I still think that he's a, a woman beater and a woman basher. Uh, Nicki Minaj, like I said, Nicki Minaj, man, like, I don't know if people be ghostwriting for, people say be, she be, you know, that people ghostwrite for, um, I don't know if her booty cheeks are real, but, you know, I mean, I don't know, man, like, I, like, it's almost like I want to like this girl, but I, I don't, I have every reason kind of not to, and I'm going to speak on, you know, shades of that a little bit later on in this video, it's, it's kind of connected, but, I mean, it's, she's one of those artists like I want to like this girl but I kind of have every reason not to because of what what it represents in the state of hip hop and I just I'm just not feeling it so you know just getting on to the rest of it man they they um put a spotlight on um my Angelo I really like that um showing off her career and, and you know paying tribute to her um, Color Me Bad actually performed, so there was a lot of whole, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that you know happened during this um uh, this award show that I liked, man. You know, uh, Usher came out with the new school, old school, new school, old school, like um 
like R. Kelly did last year with his songs. Like you really, you really, you never really sit there and wonder how many hits that Usher really had until he did that performance. So, you know, but overall, the best performance of the night was Lionel Rich. I mean, the whole tribute, because um, you really don't see that kind of performance on TV like that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, if you want to see Lionel Richie perform, perform right about now, it's a little bit rare. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, seeing that is something that I really enjoyed. I, I, I'll take that. And of course, you know, Jay Z and Beyonce. Like Beyonce recently, like they 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 on tour right now with this on the run uh, tour that they on. And people act like they've never seen a pair of butt cheeks before. Like you know what I'm saying? I mean, this is what I've come to expect from Beyonce. Some people say that the girl's a glorified stripper. I don't know. I mean, beautiful is beautiful, attractive is attractive. That's kind of how I feel. She got it, she could flown it. I mean, for real. At the end of the day, it's it's money. You know what I'm saying? Dude, hey, I'm I'm I don't look. I'm pretty sure that there's no dude that's gonna go see the tour that really cares. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I get to see some cheeks. Hey, you know, I win. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure that the tickets is like what 200 a pop, 300 a pop. But anyway, let me get into. First off, let me cut this music right here, man. You know, the the review part of the video is just about over. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to make sure I get into the state of hip hop, but overall, let me just talk about the BET Awards overall. Overall, the BET Awards 2014 was exactly what I thought it would be. Um a lot of performances, a lot of stuff that you hear on the radio, man. Um you know what I'm saying? It it was what it was. I give it about a 7.5 out of 10. It wasn't boring. It wasn't necessarily predictable. I think that I gave it a 7.5 more so because uh, Chris Rock was a host and he kind of he kind of made the evening for me. Some of the jokes that he done that he put out there and cracked on people. But anyway, man, I wanted to get into the real meat of this video, man. That's the reason why this video is so long. The state of hip hop. Now, I just want to say it like this. It just wouldn't have been the BET Awards without some kind of altercation, without some kind of beef, and basically without somebody getting, you know, shot or stabbed at. You know what I'm saying? It just wouldn't have been. It just wouldn't have been. This is the state of what hip hop is in 2014, people, whether you like it or not. I mean, that's that's kind of what it is. Shockingly, right? I don't sound shocked, do I? There just couldn't have been a BET Awards without some type of drama, man. It just it just seems to not really ever be just drama free. I mean, before the BET Awards, it was a stabbing at a pre BET Awards party that a whole bunch of people that were at the BET Awards tonight were at. I mean, and even before then, weeks before then, we all done heard about the T.I. Floyd Mayweather drama that's been going on and, you know, a whole bunch of that other stuff just going on. I mean, black people as a whole just need to understand that, you know, this stuff is getting tired, man. This stuff is getting old. The, the bravado and, you know, your style versus my style. And people don't really understand what the true meaning of hip hop is. People don't understand. People think that hip hop is just music. Hip hop is not just music, it's a lifestyle. And the lifestyle of hip hop is starting to take its shape. And the and the shape of it is just pretty you know it's just not good. Alright? It's just not. You look at Black Bike Week or whatever happened down uh what is it called? Uh Bike Week down on Myrtle Beach and you know, the carnage. You look at what happened during Father's Day just a couple weeks ago. Black people shooting up black people. People people don't understand that hip-hop is not just music. Hip-hop is lifestyle. And, you know, some of these people, and, it, and as crazy as this might sound, some of these people think that these hip-hop music videos, some of these lifestyles that you see in these videos is real. That these people be out here living that life. And in reality, them people be eating hot dogs and beans. Double cheeser, a hey, double cheeseburgers from McDonald's every night. That's what it is. How that's how the rich stay rich. Some people don't understand that 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 lifestyle gonna get you hurt. That lifestyle gonna get you killed. What you see on TV and what you see, you know, uh, in the culture is not necessarily going 
to be a good thing for you. And I think that I don't think that there's enough black people to understand that. And then when you look at the music, the music is just taking so many dips and, and dives in the last couple of years where it's just like the genre has went, you know, so many different ways and to the point where you really can't even call it hip hop anymore. It's not really hip hop. It's just something it's like a hybrid of what it what it used to be. It's like, you know, oh my God, I'm singing on the track like I'm Drake and then now I'm I'm rapping like I'm Kendrick Lamar. Like I mean, you know, you know, some people don't necessarily understand that hip hop is not just music, it's a culture. And in 2014, you could just see it by the carnage, man. That these guys think that this stuff, that these people, that the things that pe these people are talking about in these mu in their music is what they actually believe. And some of them, hey, I can't I can't sit up here and speak for a whole bunch of artists and, and say that you know what they speak in their words is not true. That is propaganda. But come on, man, the writing's on the wall. The writing's on the wall for everybody to see. And in 2014, I'm gonna tell you like this. If Black Bike Week is the is basically the result of what hip hop is or hip hop culture is, the bravado, the ignorance that goes behind it, then I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm not going to go, you know, buy none of these dudes' albums. Why? Because they're basically promoting a lifestyle in which Black Bike Week happens, that you know, Father's Day happens. I mean, you know, the violence between Ti and I mean, like I said, you can't really blame the music solely on that it's the lifestyle it's the culture it's the bravado is i got this you ain't got this oh i can steal your girl look at my penis in her mouth come on man i mean that's basically what it is that's what the that's what the lifestyles become and you know us as black folks we need to really start looking at the situation and saying is this the lifestyle that i want to live all right like i said i'll keep saying this during this whole state of the hip-hop address hip-hop is not just music Music is a part of it, is a large part of it, and, and the music influences people's lifestyle. That's basically what it is. That's where the culture comes from. It's just a whole, you know, circle of it. And when you look at a lot of this, you know, this violence that goes on, man, you you have to look at it from, you know, a non-biased point of view. I mean, anybody that comes to this video that's not necessarily a black descent, they'll they'll look at this and they'll say, you know, how can how can the music have that big that big of a of a control or my control of the folks and it just does i mean you can just see it man you can see that a little kid can basically sing the whole for real song he's gonna sing for real all night he can sing the whole for real song but can't tell you his abcs that's a problem in the black community you know hip-hop culture is basically put is being put you know in front of core values in the black community that's the reason why you see so much violence and people will disagree with this video I, I want them to come out and disagree with what I have to say I, I welcome it alright because I'm basically putting this in front of your face and saying that this is a result of hip-hop culture it couldn't be a, it couldn't be a result of anything else it just couldn't you know there's just too many people with the slave mentality that want to sit there and point the finger at something else or something that has absolutely nothing to do with this but this is a direct effect of it. All right. This is a direct effect of it. And there's going to be people that's going to ignore this point. There's going to be people that's going to deflect this point. But the bottom line is, is that it's a point. And it's, you know, a point of issue where, you know, we really need to take a look at this thing from a whole, you know, scope and say that this is a part of the problem. And if you don't want to be a part of the problem, then you might as well be a part of the solution. And what's the solution? I can't tell you what the solution is. I know what the solution is. But, you know, why ask me when you can just be it yourself? A lot of people need to start looking in the mirror. As far as hip-hop goes in 2014, it really hasn't changed from 2013. The music, you know, is not necessarily about who's on top or who sounds the best. It's about, you know, who's promoting the good sides of hip hop. Who's basically promoting uh, uh, the, the stuff that's not leading to people getting shot up. Those are the people I want to listen to. And if you really love hip hop, if you love the culture of hip hop, the positive side of hip hop, then yeah, you, you want to promote it too. But I know this video ran a little bit long. I just wanted to speak on that, man.
Let me know how you guys feel about the BET Awards 2014 it's the WC. I'll catch you guys on my next video. All right. Until next time. Peace.